Hi, I'm Melinda Biola and I'm here at AQS in Charleston, South Carolina. And I had an exhibit here of uh, some of my quilts that recently survived um, a fire that we had up at our house in the town of Paradise, California, where the whole town, unfortunately, uh, was destroyed by a fire. And um, I'm here kind of highlighting that my husband, my sweet Joe Bula, um, got all these quilts out, my award-winning quilts, because I told him two weeks before the fire, I, we were talking about, what if, it, what if a fire happened up here? Would you know what to grab? And I went through a whole thing with him, you know, honey, you know, you need to get the cash, you need to get our meds, the hard drive, and then if you have time, honey, all my quilts are wrapped up in a closet over here on, a, on a noodles. They're wrapped on a noodle. You could grab them all and throw them in the back of your truck. Well, two weeks later, we had the fire, and he remembered what I said, and he grabbed all my quilts and my wearable art. We, I did lose, lose about half of my stuff, um, but I'm so grateful that I have these quilts here to show you and talk about, because these are award-winning quilts, and we did save the award-winning quilts. So I'm really blessed um, to share these with you, and really grateful that I have such a sweet husband. This is one of my favorite quilts. It's called Monterey at Dusk, and it was from a photograph that I took uh, in Monterey on our 24th wedding anniversary. We're now doing 26 years, but I took this picture and I really wanted, it was really my first landscape, and I just loved the colors. The sun was setting and it was uh, reflecting uh, the light was reflecting up in the houses on the hill and I really wanted to get the shimmer and I didn't know if I could do it all in fusible fabric but yeah I did it and I worked on it for a good month uh, but I just love the shimmer in the water I love the all these little boats some were fishing boats and this quilt has won a lot of award it won best of show at road to california it won first place i think in houston and i think it won first or second place in um, fall paducah kentucky an aqs show so i'm really proud of this quilt this one is called romance and i love to do bouquets i just I think they're just yummy and so I had a picture of this bouquet and I kind of took some ideas from two different photographs and set and arranged this uh, bouquet. I love, I was the first time I was doing raindrops down here that fell from this petal and dropped down here and I added this little sn snail because back in the Renaissance times they would always put bugs in and so that was my little snitchy the snail down here. But this quilt won um, it won first place in Houston and it won second place in AQS Paducah. And I love it. This is called Monet in Pasadena. And I was touring the Pasadena Gardens there at the Huntington Library and I took a picture of the water lily garden. And when I got home, I really had this hunger. I had to make that, um, that picture into a quilt. So I took my photograph scanned it into my computer and then I went and did some hue and saturation of blues and greens because what would Monet do when he saw this water lily and so I played around with it in the computer and printed it out and then I worked from my photo again making um, Monet in Pasadena and I love the water reflections up here the little squiggles the little abstract squiggles and and it would, took me a while it took me a couple months to make this but I'm uh, I love this quilt this one's called Baltimore Album Vase. And when I made this quilt, I made a real uh, silk flower arrangement with flowers uh, that mimic this. And then I took photographs of it. And then I started working on the quilt. Now, I just did the bouquet and the, the uh, pot. I love this color combination together. And that's what I wanted to put together. And then after I got it done, I realized, no, it needs to be sitting on a table. So I looked and I started making a table. And then I thought, oh, it needs lace over the table. So I, this is not real lace. I cut all those little holes and shaded it to look like real lace. And at the same time, I was making a real Baltimore album by hand. And so I decided to attach it. And I'm, I'm envisioning that the woman heard the phone ring and she threw her applique onto the table and ran to get the phone because it was her husband and he was overseas. And so that's what I was thinking when I was making this. On the books over here, the kitty 
is sitting on two of the books that were in my sewing room. One is Van Gogh and one is Ellie Sienkiewicz's American Quilts. And those are taken, and I used my embroidery machine to make the spine of all those books. And so I love this quilt and I love and feel so honored to be asked to show my quilts here in Charleston at this beautiful quilt week. And, um, I think you need to come to one of these shows and have the fun of seeing all these great quilts. So I hope I see you at the next Quilt Week. <laughs>